So this is the world and class that Jane Austen inhabited. Now, unfortunately, we can't just hop into TARDIS and jump back in time to 18th century England. Why not? <laughs> well, we have the next best thing because through Austen's work, we get to see her world. And we can see how seriously class and gender distinctions mattered to people back then. Don't class and gender distinctions still matter? Very much, yes, good point, but they manifest in different ways. Even though the world has changed, the people, her characters, what they wanted and why, and that way, Austin's insights remain very fresh today. But, Professor. Yes, Molly. Jane Austen and the people that she knew, mm -hmm. I mean, they, they knew right from wrong, didn't they? Well, yeah, I mean, sure, most of the time. So, to crush someone's heart, you know, the way Willoughby does to Marianne, that would be unforgivable in Austen's world, and hopefully still our own today, wouldn't it? Much of Austen's work is about heartbreak, but it was also about misunderstanding. Again and again, her heroines and heroes misunderstood what was going on with the other person, misunderstood what was going on within themselves, that the conclusion that was drawn made perfect sense under the circumstances. Sometimes these misunderstandings were about wealth and position. For instance, do I want to marry them or do they want to marry me just to better their lives? But not always. Sometimes they'd ask, do they really love me? Will they always love me? Or why did they leave? Was it because of me? Or was it their family and their station in life that kept them from staying? Now, we're dealing with Austin, so of course it's gonna mostly come down to love. Like, Elizabeth and Darcy's love for each other, despite his pride and her prejudice. You see what I did there? Or Eleanor and Edward's love for each other, despite his sister's machinations. Or, as you pointed out, Molly, Marianne and Willoughby's love for each other was very one-sided and broke her heart, nearly killing her, only for her to return Colonel Brandon's love later on. Because see, in Austin's world, two people rarely discover that they love each other at the same time. Otherwise, there would be no story. Well, that's a very good point. Thank you. But, see, in Austin's world, things always end up okay. Love wins. I mean, we should all be so lucky, right? Wouldn't it be great if we all knew ourselves the way that Austin knew her characters? I mean, if we could give ourselves that second, third, and fourth chance that she always gave them. Okay, your essays are due on Thursday. Don't ruin my weekend. I'll see you then. Molly, I'm glad I caught you. I have your keys. Oh, my God, thank you so much. I was getting ready to go over the whole campus with a metal detector. Well, it's a good thing I have your schedule on my phone and... Oh. Excuse me, Professor. You're doing a good deed, I see, Christina. Professor, yeah. can I ask you a question about the essay? Of course. What the hell do you think you're doing? I just need to see Parker. Why? I'll explain everything later, but for Christina, now... Christina, whatever you're doing, it is a big mistake. Maybe, but that's mine to make. Just don't get hurt again. Well, I mean, that's definitely an out-of-the-box way to go. Look, Parker and I are done. I know that, she knows that, but this is important. Can you at least give me a hint so I don't worry? I did something, nothing major, but it was unfair and it's been weighing on me the past couple of days and I just need to tell the truth and get it over with. So just please, just trust me. Okay, be careful. And I believe these are yours.